bigger opponents. And it caused the bruise that you see under the right eye. Herrera's only loss was for Herrera. Body shots to break down Herrera. No, not exactly. Provodnikov needs his jab and pot shotting. I think the jab of Provodnikov's going to be important. And if you don't see the jab, there's going to be problems perhaps with the body. But again, that jab to stop some of those punches coming. Some redness in the right corner of the eye. Right eye of the undefeated Provodnikov. Round dimension, Provodnikov needs him to cooperate. He stays on the outside, he boxes. Well, Provodnikov do damage. They're heavy. And you can see that damage in the face of Herrera early on. Him, you see that intensity in the face of Provodnikov. Tried to place that right hand over the top. Kind of like reminds me a little bit of the great, great... Coming to the end of round two. More to come. Stay with us. Mauricio Herrera, the 30-year-old, taking on quite a challenge here tonight against the unbeaten Russian Ruslan Provodnikov. Round three. Away just the other night. Back in New England. Mickey was just going to, actually, Mickey's going to be named the Folly Award winner, a better recipient than Mickey Ward. Nobody has fought more on Friday Night Fights. Well, when you thought about Friday Night Fights ESPN, you thought about Mickey. Movies and TVs and the series Lights Out is going to be coming out this week. I think that's going to do terrific, my friend. Providing the call, busting him up a little bit. There it is right there. It's rolling down before it gets out of control. And right there. We will see how that compromises Herrera here in round number four. You know, well, that left eye's got wait. a lot of weeds. Yeah, and they're letting the weeds grow a little too long over there. you got to get on that swelling not late in the game. Oh, it's a good combination that time by Herrera. You know, we're talking about the quick hands. Somebody needs to whisper in Herrera's ear a little bit. Let's see the quick feet. Fans, that they could make a good investment and make a little <laughs> extra <laughs> money for 2011. I'm telling you, you go come, I'm already at the place of booking, so all they got to do is come here and, and... Final minute now of round five. On the inside, take a little step back. I think we've ever seen him take a step back. No, that would be something new. Good here to close out the fifth round a right hand by Herrera stay with us more to come you see the ringside physician taking a look at that left eye was the more skilled was Mauricio putting forth a fine effort tonight especially tougher situation much tougher opponent right hand to the body from Provodnikov see right now Herrera now Herrera to fall in and smother him. See again, providing a call up around him. Every which way you want it, don't miss it. Oregon, Auburn, for all the marbles. Round number seven. That swollen left eye of Herrera, but still fighting smart. Someone else is straight away. The other fighter must know what to do to counter that. Not to allow him to take it straight away. What I'm talking about. Here early on has Provodnikov. Look at him with more damage to that left eye. And part of being able to do what I'm calling on. And then obviously execution of what. <laughs> no jab from Provodnikov. And what do you get? And look at the things they did well. They got to look at the things that they did to find in some sponsors. The audience tweeted into Brian Kenny and picked up on things that are going to be needed to be corrected. We talked about that Herrera or Provodnikov has to correct this. If you're gonna live by the sword, to be swung. And when you get inside, it's not always available to be, have to be capitalized on, again, with the better and better fighters. That's another bad habit we talked about earlier. Well, while you're reaching in for both participants, that's going to be interesting. That's next week down in Key West. Daniel Edward of Pereira. Not in the position they need to be to do work. Excavating work. Digging.
allowing a very gritty Herrera to come in and go out. There's the there it was. And you know, well, you have to shout a little bit of criticism to Herrera. He needs that jab. But they are always concerned about the fighters' safety. Forewarned and forepared. What I mean by that, smother you. Deep right there. He fell in. Deep and he fell in again. And Hopkins, number one. Some left hooks, some right hands, some body work. Not enough body work, I don't think, from Provodnikov. Some of that. Maybe the punch we need to see besides the jab now is the uppercut. Right there where Herrera falls in. I think he's going to be doing more and more of that down the stretch. That uppercut for Provodnikov can be a very effective punch. Starting to fall to a little bit. With that badly swollen left eye that just took another right hand. Matter of fact, maybe I'll tweet you. <laughs> Don't text him, then I... <laughs> Fade just a little bit physically, and as he falls in on the outside, that was a good example there, but Provodnikov did not pull the trigger. Look at this combination. From Herrera, effort like this, while dealing with an eye that is shut, you really ask yourself, could you do this? Could you even put forth one? What you see is the insides of a fighter. You see the character of a fighter. It's the best. And that's something that's been developed over many years. Because you come from a place that maybe gave you resources. I'm not allowing you to be better than me. I'm making a statement. I have the choice to make that statement. Herrera trying to make that statement. They trade at the end of 11. There was another opportunity. Herrera falls in there. That's where I would like to see Provodnikov. Right eye of Provodnikov as Herrera was able to land a left hand. Worsening on Herrera. I didn't think it could. There was a right hand, a combination. Down to the end here. Time him on the way in with that right hand. Or the left hook. Bottom for the most part. They bring it home. Last five seconds. Right hand from Herrera at the bell. That was a fighter's round right there. What an effort by Mauricio Herrera against the unbeaten Provodnikov. And there's that jab that you didn't see enough of from Provodnikov, but there's the jab in the right hand from Herrera. And now the new IBF North American Junior welterweight champion, Mauricio El Maestro Herrera. How about that? One eye, spirited effort throughout.